Hi friends and welcome to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Rajni Sharma and this is the second part of the answer key as well as explanation for the part C of CSIR GRF Net Life Sciences which was held on 18th of December 2016. Let's start with the first question of this video. In case of amphibians, the dorsal lip cells and the derivatives are called as payment mangold organizer. Following statements which the organizer are met. First statement is that it produces the herpes. Before I think before reading this, I must explain about the organizer. Uh, what this is payment mangold organizer is. Uh, here we have two embryos, one from the donor embryo and one is of host embryo. When we transplant the dorsal blastural pore lip to the uh, ventral side of the host embryo, then we can uh, we will see that and uh, the secondary embryo being growing in the ventral side of the host embryo. You have seen there here there though it uh, as it is transplanted to the ventral side, so it is growing at the ventral side and at the end. Or the complete of the embryo, we can see that they, they we have the uh, two embryo at the end, though they are connected at the belly. Now come to the options. First is that it induces the host ventral tissues to change their fats to form a neural tube and dorsal mesodermal tissue. This have been seen there. So this is right. It cannot organize the host and donor tissues into secondary embryo. Uh, you have seen there that they have organized into the secondary embryo. So this question, this option is uh, false. It does not have the ability to self differentiate into dorsal mesodermal. It is so because the dorsal side has developed into the, the uh, towards the dorsal side and ventral towards the ventral. So this is uh, so uh, it was not so. Sorry. And that uh, only dorsal side doesn't mean that only if we are transplanting only the dorsal side then it will only develop the dorsal portion here you can see that the ventral uh, portion has also been developed here so this option is also not true next is the it has the ability to initiate the movement of gastrulation it is so because it has developed into the complete uh, embryo so the uh, option a and d is correct uh, so yeah, for this question option A should be right. Next question is Dress performed the famous pressure plate experiment involving intricate recombination with an 8 cell C urchin embryo. This procedure resuffled the nuclei that normally would have been in the reason and is trying to form the endoderm into the pres uh, presumptive endoderm reasons. Here uh, you should keep in mind this uh, this two term the reshuffle of the nuclei first term is there during the eight cell search in, uh, eight cell development or by applying the pressure plate the nucleus get reshuffled. Okay, uh, how, how this happens? I have, uh, let me show you first what happened. Dress uh, first of all isolated the blastomere of from the sea urchin and what it and he did he shake it vigorously and after the end it found that the, all the cells get separated from the blastomass but uh, if it uh, should not have the self ability to regenerate the blastomere or have the ability to self uh, uh, regenerate then it should have been decayed but that was not so after that what he uh, uh, she saw on that that all these uh, cells have developed into its independent blastomere now what was the question there that the nucleus get reshuffled what happened uh, when the uh, uh, a cell has two poles uh, one is the vegetative pole and another is the animal pole okay uh, first two division is meridional. There is, uh, it will divide, or we can say it will divide like this, including both the vegetative pole and the animal pole. But uh, in normal case, the third, uh, the third case, it should be equatorial division. But on applying the pressure plate, instead of being equatorial division, it has again changed to the meridional division, and on releasing it it has again changed to the equatorial region or we can say the fourth division was the equatorial and at the end of this experiment what is concluded it it came into the three conclusion which was the a 
which is the prospective potency of an isolated blastomer is greater than its actual uh, prospective fat. Yeah, the first point of his conclusion was this and the second point of his conclusion was the C urchin embryo is a harmoniously equi equipotential system. If it should not be equipotential system, then on the separation from the blastomere, each cell will have been decayed. But it was not there. It has regenerated into a blastomere because all of its potential independence parts intricated together to form a single embryo. Okay. And the last, uh, last conclusion from his ex uh, experiment was that regulative development occurs where location of the cell in the embryo determines its fat. And uh, what about the resurfacing of nucleus? When uh, he has applied pressure, instead of being third equatorial division, it has changed to the meridional region. And when, uh, of the release of the pressure, it again, and the, or we can say the fourth division was equatorial equatorial so the nucleus which should be on the epidermal on the ectodermal side now shifted to the uh, endodermal and endodermal cells or nucleus has shifted to the ectodermal this is known as suffering of the nucleus so the option here will be a c and d is the right one yes next question consider the following event which occur during fertilization of c urchin x before reading option, again I will show you the figure, what exactly happened during the fertilization. I have taken this figure from the Gilbert uh, growth and development uh, chapter. Uh, what happened? First of all, the sperm get attracted toward the jelly layer. After that, acrosome get reacted with the jelly layer, which leads to digestion of the jelly layer. After that, vitellin envelop get bind with this jelly layer and, and then these acrosomes will fuse with the egg membrane so and during the uh, during this fusion ip3 is a uh, uh, signaling molecules which is required there so now move to the option first is the resect or aspirate or peptides released from the egg jelly in helping the sperm formation it's true binding was there after that an uh, acrosomal protein interacts with the specific 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 manner with as a respiratory brush occurs during the cross linking of the fertilization you haven't seen any any types of uh, respiratory brush so the only uh, false statement is only c because there also ip3 was also involved i have told the ip3 will involve during this process uh, for the fusion of the sperms and egg so the option will be number one next question following statement were given regarding the decisions taken during development of membrane embryos during the membrane embryos actually these two process take place number one which is the period of uh, pluri potency of the inner cell mass or icm is maintained by a core of three transcription factors of four SOX2 and NANOC and second is the prior to blastocyte formation uh, each blastomere expresses both CDX2 and OC4 transcription factor and appears to be capable of becoming either ICM or tonoblast. So the option one will be again correct here. Next question is from apoptosis. Apoptosis during early development is essential for the proper formation of uh, different structures. I have also explained this uh, apoptosis in my explanation during the uh, part B. Okay, in C. elegans, what happens? Apoptosis is uh, assimilated by Z3 and Z4 genes, which is in turn is negatively regulated by Z9 and eventually EZL1. When compared to mammals, functionally similar homologous has been identified. According to which, uh, accordingly, which one of the following statements is not correct? First, let me explain about the uh, apoptosis process in C. elegans and in mammals. In what happened in C. elegans? Uh, CD3 is first activated by CD4, and this. Uh, Actually, there are two types of initiator of caspases activity during apoptosis. One is the initiator. Here, C4 is initiating the uh, C3 to uh, for this activation. So, this is the initiator, and this is uh, and C3 
will further uh, involve in the process of apoptosis so it is effector caspases and when set, uh, set 9 will be present there it will halt the process of set 4 and uh, set uh, 3 will not be activated to carry out the apoptosis and when we will see in the case of mammal instead of caspase 3 there is uh, sorry uh, set 4 which is was the initiating caspase act, having the initiating caspase activity here set uh, caspase 9 is involved as an initiating caspase activity what happened caspase 9 is first activated by f of f which is homologous to set 4 of the c elegans and uh, during this process cytochrome c is also required and what I have to say, uh, F is homologous to set 4. After that, this initiator caspase will activate the pro caspase 3, which is an effector caspase, like caspase, uh, sorry, set 3, which was in C elegance. So, this pro caspase will change into active caspase 3. And likewise, this happens in, uh, this is the different, uh, different types of activation in mammals and C elegance. So now move to the question. First is which is not correct. Set 4 resembles F5. It is so. It resembles F, uh, set 4. Set 9 resembles BCL XL family. Actually, BCL XL family is the anti apoptotic family. And here it is clearly mentioned that set 3 it has a negative regulation for the apoptosis, or we can say it has the anti apoptotic activity. So it's also true. Set 3 resembles caspase 3. Yes, it, this is both of these are the effective caspase activity. And set 9 resembles caspase 9. No, this is not so. Uh, this caspase 9, nine uh, 4 will not resemble caspase 9. Rather, it will be, uh, it have a resemblance with the FIF1, which is activating the caspase 9 or the initiator caspases. So, the answer will be number 4. Next is in trypanosoma, a 35 base leisure sequence is joined with several different transcripts making functional messenger RNA. Actually, this uh, leader sequence is, a, is also itself is a short messenger RNA which is known as SLRNA. And now look what is act, what actually it do. What happens? Uh, uh, this SLRNA has a capping region and GU at its at its uh, end point and it will be attracted by the hydroxyl end of the um, immature messenger RNA of trypnosomes and then it will be moved and it will form a Y-shaped structure or we can say intermediate of introns and exons are formed with that of the immature messenger RNA. After that, the hydroxyl end will then splice out this introns and exon intermediate and this y shape intron exon uh, exon intimate with will be flushed out and now this two segment will be joined together to form the mature messenger rna so this uh, the uh, leader sequence which is joined with the other trna is carried out by the process known as trans splicing this question is quite simple that is following at the list of the sum pathogens in the column A and the unique mechanisms by they employ for invading the immune response. So I will directly come to the answer. This is the known mechanism and the answer will be number one as trypnosoma grisei will be capable of employing unusual genetic processes by which they generate extensive variations in their variant surface glyco proteins which is also known as VSD. Likewise, Plasmodium falciparum is capable of continually undergoing maturation changes in transformation to different forms which allow the organization to change its surface molecules and lastly the hemophilic influenza is capable of inviting immune responses by frequent antigenic changes in its hemagglutinin and neuromidinase uh, glycoproteins. Next question. I love these types of question because it never go negative marking. It's because this is totally based on the concept which has already been mentioned here. The question is that two steroid hormones receptors X and Y both contain a ligand binding domains and a DNA binding domains. 
here it has the if suppose this is the hormone x and this is hormone y this x has uh, one side with the ligand binding and one with the uh, dna binding likewise the y has also a ligand binding site and a dna binding site and next uh, uh, come to next which is using recombinant dna technology a modified hybrid receptor h is prepared such that it contains the ligand binding domain of x and dna binding domain of y it means when uh, we have a, a recombinant structure here having the receptor h which has the one with the ligand binding of the x for x and dna binding for the y then three sets of the cells over expressing receptors x y and h were then treated separately either with hormone x or with hormone y assuming that there is no cross reactivity which one of the following graph patterns represents the receptor like and binding in each cases if we are talking about receptor binding cases then this x hormone and this h and this x hormone and this is the y hormones both will have the high expressivity for the binding of x receptors as both have the ligand binding site for the x while for if we talk about the uh, ligand binding site of the y then only y will express this so for uh, to have uh, the process for the uh, represent the receptor ligand binding processes the option will be where uh, will have the high concentration hormone x as well as h will represent for the x ligand and only y will represent the uh, y ligand so the option will be number 3 next question this is my last question so i have uh, cut uh, some of the portion in three slides uh, a protein x is kept in inactive state in the cytosol uh, as complement as complex with the protein y when x and y are in together then these are in inactive state but when x is alone it will be active state under certain stress stimuli y get phosphorylated resulting in its proteasomal degradation obviously when it will be degraded x will be freed out and x becomes free translocate to the nucleus and results in the transcription of a gene which causes cell death by apoptosis when it will be free it uh, now it, when uh, they are in complex with the x it will remain in the cytosol but when it will be free out it will migrate to the nucleus and where it will be able to uh, to carry out its function of the apoptosis stress stimuli were given to following four different cases in case mm -hmm. one when protein uh, y has a, a mutation such that phosphorylation leading to proteasomal degradations does not occur when uh, y will not degrade then it will be remain in attached uh, it will remain attached with the x protein and so x will remain inactive state and apoptosis will not take place in this condition next case is that cells are transfected with a gene which encodes for a, a protein L that inhibits the translocation of protein Y to the nucleus. It means if it is not translocated to the nucleus, it is present in the cytosol. And again, this time, if it is in cytosol, it will remain bonded with the X and it will stop the activity of X, which is the apoptosis. Next is cells are transfected only with the empty vector used to transfect the gene for the protein L. There is no any process which is halting the process of X and Y. So it will normally carry out the process for the app process. Last is that cells are treated with jet wet uh, FMK or broad spectrum caspase inhibitor. This caspase activity if in, uh, inhibited then it will also stop the apoptosis. So in this case too apoptosis is not taking place. Now what we have to do is which of the following graph best describes the apoptotic states of the cell in the above cases uh, y axis will be the percentages of the apoptotic cells so high percentages of apoptotic cells will be in the case of c so look that graph in c only 
and option one only the C has the high percentage of apoptotic cells. So the option will be number one. Next question. The arterial pressure usually rises and falls 4 to 6 mm Hg in the wave-like manner causing respiratory waves. The probable mechanism of these waves been proposed in the following statements. First statement is the more negative intrathoracic pressure during inspiration reduces the quantity of blood returning to the left side of the heart causing decreased cardiac output. Obviously, with, uh, when there will be a downfall of the uh, pressure of the, uh, of the blood, the cardiac output will be affected. Next is the change of the intrathoracic pressure during respiration can excite vascular and arterial stretch receptors which affect heart and blood vessels. Obviously, when there is the increase or decrease of the pressure, the receptor will be affected which is known as bioreceptor which is I have discussed about that bioreceptor in section B explanation. Next is the activity of medullary respiratory centers can influence the vasomotor center as uh, obviously the medullary reasons is, uh, is uh, controlling this respiratory center. Last is the respiratory waves uh, are outcome of the oscillation of the central nervous system. It is not the uh, activity of the central nervous system as it already been mentioned that it is the activity of the medullary center. So only option D is incorrect. So this option will be number D. Next question is the uptake of nitrous oxide and carbon monoxide in the blood of lung alveolar capillary relative to their partial pressure and transient time of the red blood cell in capillary is shown in the in below figure. Before answering this, you sh uh, I should uh, explain uh, why this graph is so low above the carbon monoxide and why this graph is having the ASCEP or we can say saturation at such a high level. This is so if we compare, um, if we know that the uh, even at the low partial pressure carbon monoxide can ha have the ability to dissolve in the blood. So for even at the low partial pressure it will be remain in the soluble state in the blood even more as compared to that of the carbon dioxide and oxygen we all know about that. So uh, the reason for difference in the pattern of the alveolar gas exchange of N2O and CO has been proposed in the following statement. And next point is that carbon monoxide have the diffusion mechanism where it transfer from the capillary or the from the lungs towards the uh, to the blood. Uh, but N2O is not bonded with any uh, protein, so it is free to go from the uh, from blood from blood to the capillaries. It will not be get bonded with the blood with the protein of the blood. Okay, so such type of limitation is known as perfusion limited gas N2O. Okay, so now come to the option N2O does not chemically combine with uh, combine with between alveolar gases and blood. Yes. Uh, this is true because uh, it is not any bond gases or it doesn't get have any bondation with the protein so it is it will easily pass to from the blood towards the capillary next is carbon monoxide has high solubility in blood yes this is also true it is high sol solubility in the blood even more than that of the oxygen and carbon dioxide carbon monoxide is high solubility in the alveolar capillary membrane no as already it has mentioned, it is it has high solubility in the blood. It will not have the high solubility in the alveolar membrane. Last is the dispersion of N2O between the alveolar gases and blood is considered as diffusion limited. No, because this is a perfusion limited. Rather, carbon monoxide is a diffusion limited. So, what we have to answer here, which of the following statement is or are incorrect. So, the option incorrect, incorrect will be C and D. And the option will be number 4. Question number 103. External pressure given to a mixed vents causes loss of touch sensation while pain sensation remains relatively intact. On the other hand, replica application of local anesthetics uh, on the same nerve induces loss of pain 
sensation keeping touch sensation list affected this observation can be explained by the following statements actually the pain and touch sensation has two different types of fibers type e fiber usually carry out the sensation and type c fiber carry out the pain all but the e has three type of fibers alpha beta and delta when there we will feel, feel the very fast pain then beta uh, e beta fibers will be responsible but when there is the slow pain then c will be responsible so according to this the option which is incorrect will be the external pressure causes loss of conduction of the impulse in a small diameter sensory nerve fibers and local anesthesia depresses the conduction of impulses in the large diameter sensory nerve fibers this too will be incorrect rather the touch is induced by the fiber a and pain by fiber c this is correct so we have to point out here the incorrect word so the one so the option will be number one which is a and b next is the probable effect of lesson of lap optical track on the vision of human subject are given below identify the correct statement when there is lesson in the left optic track then it will affect the uh, right side or the right half of the eyes uh, or it will you will enable to visualize the right half for in the case of both the eyes so the option will be first is the blindness in the left eyes but the visual field on right remain intact no right right half will be affected so this option is not correct blindness in the right half of the uh, visual field of both the eyes yes the bo in uh, both the eyes will have uh, difficulty in visualizing to from the left half side of their eyes so the option will be number 2 next question is individual and overlapping expression of hormetic genes in adjacent walls of a flower determine the pattern of floral organ development in the arabidopsis mutant floral organ are distributed as follows World, one is the outermost which is the carpel two is the stamens three is the stamens and four is the innermost which is the carpel loss of functional mutation in which one of the following genes would have caused the above pattern of floral organ development this is well known that the, uh, this gene will be uh, uh, responsible for which is the ape tela number two uh, will be uh, will be responsible for such types of pattern next question in the photosynthetic electron transport electron travels through carrier organizer in the jet scheme we all know the following are the in, uh, indicated as different electron flow i am also not going to explain this i am only coming directly coming to the answer the answer will be b which is the flow of from p70 and 700 to a not a1 uh, ferrodoxin directly uh, towards the ferrodoxin and number uh, and the other will be number c which is p680 to few fascin and then it will target to the p700 so the option will be number two next question is phytochrome mediated control of uh, photomorphogenesis is lying linked to many other genes functions the following statements are met on the mechanism of phytochrome action. First option is phytochrome function requires COP1 and E3 ubiquitin ligase that bring about protein degradation. Yes, it is so because you can see this from my uh, from this diagram I have here noted I uh, have brought it here that COP1 and UB E3 ligase is involved in the degradation reaction next option is cop1 is slowly exported from the nucleus to the cytoplasm in the presence of light yes in the presence of light it get migrated toward the cytoplasm in its functional form next is h55 is targeted by the cop1 for degradation in the presence of light move to the figure in the presence of light it is not targeted for a degradation Rather, it is the transcriptional factor, and in the light, it leads to the photomorphogenesis. So, the option C is wrong. The right option is 
HY5 is a transcription factor involved in photomorphogenetic response. So the option A, B and D is the right one. A, B and D. So the option will be number 3. Next question. Yes, it's quite simple if you if you know about the C4 cycle or the H, uh, or uh, you have you know, uh, how this in this cycle bundle seed cell as well as mesophyll cells are involved. Actually, uh, C4 uh, plants have the crunch anatomy that distinguishes mesophyll and bundle seed cells. So the option A is right. Next is that in the in the peripheral. Mesophyll cells, atmospheric carbon dioxide is fixed by PEP or phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase yielding the 4 carbon acids. And after the formation of the 4 carbon acid, it will transport it to the mesophyll cells and where it will decarboxylate it into the 4 carbon acid and release carbon dioxide. But here it is mentioned that it will happen in the mesophyll cells. So this statement C is wrong one. Last, uh, last statement and this decarboxylated uh, or which releases the carbon dioxide is involved in the Calvin cycle. So the option D is also right. So we, here we have to point out the correct statement. So the correct statement will be A, B and D. So this answer will be number 3. Next question. Read the following statement related to the plant pathogen interaction. Actually, it is a phenomenon, so I will not explain it much about this. I will directly come to the answer, which is that the, the systemic required resistance is observed following infection by the compatible pathogen. Yes, it's so. And there is the induce, induced patho, uh, systemic resistance is activated following infection by compatible pathogens. These two are analogous. This is, answer is wrong. So, if you will come to read this, you will find that A, C and D option is the right about the plant pathogen interaction. Next question is about the transportation in the plant, which is given below are the statements describing various features of solid transport and photoassimilate translocation plants. First option is apoplastic phloem loading of sucrose happens between cells with no plasmodes mantle connection yes in during the uh, apoplastic volume uploading of sucrose there is no involvement of the plasmodes mata as i already have discussed about this transportation about uh, apoplastic semplastic and vehicular transportation as when i was planning uh, in uh, section b you can get the uh, uh, explanation from there too so it is the right option and what happens the growing uh, in the growing or the young leaves and roots there it will usually follow the same plastic movement where it will cross the uh, the fluid will be passed across will cross the plasmodes mater so option b is also the right one the full and the correct uh, so we have to point out the correct statement so the option will be a and b and the option for this answer will be number four next question it is about the we have to match out the features of these hormones of the column 1 with that of the column 2. We know that oxygen is the polar transport. Zebulin is responsible for the internodal elongation and also it is it is used for the removal of the seed dormancy. So the option will be like sorry this will be one. This will help in the seed dormancy. Cytokinin, which itself, its name itself uh, denotes that it involved in the cell division. So it will delay in the leaf uh, senses. And ethylene is generally involved in the epinastic bending of the leaf. So the option will be number three. Next question is about the transfusion of the blood. If in a blood transfusion type A donor blood is given to a recipient having type B blood, the red blood cells or RBCs of the donor blood would agglutinate but the recipient RBCs would be less affected. This observation can be explained by the following statements. Actually this happens because uh, we know that uh, an, uh, blood group A will have antibody against A this is the blood group B and it will have the antigen B. And similarly for the one which have the blood group A will have antibody against B and will have the antigen A. So 
when we will transfuse A in uh, a B uh, blood group patient, then what will happen? It will be recognized as the antigen and as the uh, concentration or the amount of blood is very less, so uh, the fight for uh, binding against the antigen will be more. Or we can say with one antigen, sorry, with one antigen, multiple antibody will bound or we can say multiple cell will be involved to bind for this anti, uh, antigen. And so this will lead to the clumping. But when uh, we will talk about the uh, agglutination of the recipient which is P, uh, it's, uh, A will also react with P or its uh, antibody will react with B. But as the amount of antigen is more, so there will no fight against the antigen and each cell can bind with an individual antigen. So it will not be able to agglutinate. So the option A and B is right. You can read it as agglutinins in recipient's plasma causes agglutination by binding with type A agglutinogens. And second option is the agglutinins of donor blood was diluted in the recipient's plasma resulting in the low agglutination. Yes, because of the high dilution, uh, recipient blood will not be coagulated. But here we have to point out the incorrect statement. So the incorrect statement is number C and T. Next question. This is quite easy question and it's totally based on the concept. C section, if you will able to uh, understand the con the question, it is the easiest part of the uh, of the question of the examination. So let's solve it. The following scheme represents the deletion. One to four are the deletion in the R2 locus of phase T4 from the common reference point. That the four point mutation A to D are tested against the four deletion for the ability plus and or the inability or the minus to give the wild type recombinants. The result was summarized that the uh, inability means uh, this segment is, uh, uh, is absent in that. So uh, what happened here from the table you can we can analyze that one uh, number one is uh, having the all the segment there is no any deletion is present having a b c d all the sequence but in segments two it has it is deficient of number d and number uh, three is deficient of number d as well as b so if we will move it uh, the d is also get deleted with the followed by the c and the last is uh, having the deficient of a2 so it has d uh, C and E segment is deleted and here in the 3 it was D. So if we will look about uh, the segment, it's the D, uh, sorry, it, it will be D. D is not there, it is followed by C is not there and lastly A is not there. Uh, but C is, oh, sorry, I again mistaken, uh, the s number D it was B, 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 sorry, B, D, it's the B, not C. It's B and number 4 is, uh, is, is get deleted with the A. But uh, C is present here. So the option will be D, B, A, C, which is number 2. Number 114. Inversions are considered as crossing over separation because what happened inversion uh, well uh, leads to the uh, rotation of your segment by 180 degree one which has suppose this is the chromosomes and th this segment has uh, get inverted so suppose its uh, sequence is z c t then it will what uh, it will happen when the inversion will uh, happen uh, it will rotate by 180 degree and then again it will integrate to the segment so the sequence will then become T, G and C. Because of this process, if the crossing over will produce there, it will produce a lethal, it will give a lethal genes. So the option will be number 4. Next one, yes, pedigree analysis. The following pedigree shows the inheritance pattern of the trait. Here you can see that male is affected, female is not affected. 
uh, and if we, we consider it as a dominant then most of the species will sh uh, should have been uh, affected with this so this is not a dominant case and if it will have been uh, a um, sex linked diseases if a male is will be affected then the x chromosome and uh, the x from the female will come in the fair affected or we can see e is affected and x is the normal one uh, this is from the uh, its uh, mother and this from its father so the uh, female should be carried so it's also not uh, sex linked diseases it is the recessive diseases autosomal recessive diseases and its probability will be half because here you can see uh, from uh, from the two male only half is get affected so here the probabilities will be half and it will be autosomal recessive in nature next question three mit uh, three mit mitosen uh, mit manus e coli mutant strains were isolated to study the nature of the mutation these mutant strains were treated with the mutagens ems or proflavines and stored for revotens the result obtained is summarized below before that i will wa i want to explain about the ems and proof uh, proof lab flavin actually ems is responsible for the nucleotide substitution reaction and proof flavins uh, it itself get integrated with in inside the uh, dna base pair and this leads to the either insertion or deletion of the uh, insertion deletion mutation so now to come to the option uh, according to this table if uh, ems is affecting the b then it should have the point mutation or the substitution or transition uh, mutation that means the purine get substituted with another purine or the pyrimidine get substituted with another pyrimidine so option b will be transition okay and uh, pro flavin is only effective in case of mutant a and here as it causes the insertion or deletion of the segment so a must have gone the insertion or deletion of a single basis but in case of c as both of these are causing the point mutations so uh, c must have the uh, have uh, deletion of the multiple bases so this to both of these are not able to refer, uh, able to revert the process so the option will be number 3 next question it's quite simple i have also uh, got, uh, uh, have uh, integrated the option the side of the questions to make you understand more easily it's a quite simple uh, uh, cycle where that that in chloroplast in the mitochondria will change into uh, pregnolol and uh, from it will then pass across the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and it will form progesterone and likewise the number c is the cortisol so i'm not going to explain the option will be number 2 next question is again a concept based question a pair of allele governs the seed size in the crop plant b allele responsible for the bold seed is dominant over b allele controlling the small seed an experiment was carried out to test if an identical dominant dna marker 5 ker b uh, band is linked to allele controlling seed size a plant heterozygous for the marker and allele was crossed to the small seeded plant lacking the 5 kb band 100 progeny obtain from the cross were analyzed for the presence and absence of the dna marker the result were tabulated below as it is uh, crossing the heterozygous condition with that of a uh, recessive one so here and the parent is b b is crossed with a small b small b and the result is here so what we will get the offspring we will get offspring b b and b b because it's also a type of test cross so the uh, the plant which will give the bold seed will have the allele b b and the one which gives the small seed will give b small b small b now if uh, dna marker 5 kb band is associated with the capital b then it should 
completely absent from the small b but it is present there so it is not associated with uh, uh, capital b and if it is associated with the small b then it should not have been absent from the small b or the small c so it is neither associated with the uh, capital b or the bold c or with the small c rather it uh, it get absorbed independently of the phenotype so the option 1 will be the correct answer next here we have to point out the incorrect correct statement from the below i am directly coming to the answer which is the mycopla mycoplasma a group of low gc content gram positive bacteria that lack cell wall it doesn't lack cell wall rather it has the thick uh, cell wall so the option 4 is the an incorrect one next option sorry next question is you observe that two species of barnacles species 1 and species 2 occupy upper and lower strata of intertidal rocks respectively only when species 2 was removed by you from the lower strata species 1 occupy could occupy both upper and lower strata from the choice given below what would be your interference from this observation this is only possible when the species one is the niche of is the niche of in the upper uh, strata so the option one will be correct so this was the last question of this video uh, in my next video i will discuss rest or rest of the 25 questions and meanwhile i am also uh, working on some app or the educational app for you for so that where you can uh, have practice of the mcqs and get knowledge of any topic anywhere where you can in the bus stop in the classroom while traveling uh, to your college or any time when you are lying on the bed so i am app, uh, designing an app uh, for your android phone so uh, have patience it is just on the way i will describe about this that app or introduce with that app in my upcoming videos too along with the description of part c of the rest questions which is on 25 left so don't forget to subscribe and share my channel and uh, do comment if you found any queries about the explanation or if you found, if you found that i'm wrong in explanation during this uh, video so don't forget to subscribe and share and be yourself bye bye